What is that crap I'm going on? It's freaking me out. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's StornoGreep 14 er and welcome back to another episode of Mario Plus Rabbids, The Sparks of Hope. In the last episode, we were cleaning up the last of the mess around Beacon Beach and Pristine Peaks. And now, we're going to be traveling to the next planet in search of more sparks and stopping Chris Curse's influence. Why did I say Chris? Oh my gosh, come on. Curse's influence. Wait, why can I tell? Oh right, that's not how that works, Bob. Focus. Oh, great way of starting off, alright. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna be traveling to the next planet in the game. We've gotten just about everything done. I think there's a few small secrets that I haven't found yet. Um, again, most of them are just likely probably small weapons, skins, and plant cords. I want to find those, but I'll try to look for those another time. Right now, I want to continue on with the story because we've already had two episodes about it and or about going to other areas and f cleaning up secrets. But now we're gonna be going here and cleaning up the next uh, planet. Palette Prime. We've heard about this initially from one of the uh, other rabbits in the mansion, so now we get to see it for ourselves. I can't wait. We are on approach to Palette Prime, known for the warm orange and yellow foliage of its woodlands, its ambrosial pumpkin spice, and uplifting poetry. I've been waiting to visit for ages. The presence of dark mess energy on this planet has obstructed the natural active synthesis of anthocyanin pigments, leaving its forest canopies drab while its labyrinthian woods swallow visitors in a shroud of impenetrable darkness, where enchanted creatures observe and consider whether to help or to harm. Also, pumpkin spice is overrated. Uh, amen. <laughs> No, it wasn't the junk people. Pumpkin spice over it. Gosh. When that time of year comes around, they put it on everything. They've put it in flippin' cereal for Pete's sake. My god. Do you think that's enough when we got to flippin' cereal about it? Come on. Anyways, enough about the talk about spices. Now we're gonna be talking about planets of Palette, like Palette Prime. Here we go. Yeesh, the planet really does look de 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 oh my gosh, Bob. decimated. And that looks like a thing of interest. Unlike my dialogue, of course. Mm. What, what have you, Leaf Halo and Bosom Friend? Arboreal wisdom to recommend? <laughs> Loyal beast, what solace do you bring? Arias of hope you hope to sing? Sing! This guy looks like a riot. But what is this? Hope that flies on eagle's wings? <laughs> Jamie, what kind of approach was that? Did you optimize your landing protocols, or did Rabbit Luigi spill chili on the orbiter controls again? The hard landing was caused by abnormal interference, not dark mess related, but perhaps dramatist related? Dramatist related. Are you talking about the guy spinning his poetry? I mean, I know she, she is, clearly, but... <laughs> Be gone, friends! Be gone! And pray you never see such universal sorrow for hope fled before thee. This is T.S. Woodrow, warden of Pallet Prime and locally famous amateur poet, mostly self published. Ah, I see. Honestly, sounds like solid work. A golden ruby coffer, now dead and grey and dross, more horrid than his torture. I am too numb to feel their loss. Oh yeah, look at this place. Die in here. Translation: The trees are being drained of the anthocyanin pigmentation and carotenoid compounds needed to change color. It also looks like they're just being drained of life in general, Genie. Somewhere inside the spellbound woods. Requiem. 
Requiem, bespoke the loud still clarion. Farmers are left for carrion. Life's a king-size bust. The end. That last one didn't rhyme. Different poetry tactics for build? Sorry. By a second tentacle and something else that's tearing it apart. Hmm. However, the bridge to the plaza is destroyed. The only other access is through a secret passage underneath Woodrow's home. How did you get all that from a few oh. lines of really depressing poetry? <laughs> <laughs> Rosalina. <laughs> Apparently the talk about the end of this planet is just making her sleepy. <laughs> and Mario and Luigi just don't looking at both Beepo and Genie. Oh but that cracks me up a little. Analysis of all seven point six hundred and forty three of Woodrow's poems divulged his communication and thought patterns. I I suppose I understand them. Ah, Looks like the robot's starting to learn about cultural differences in humans or rabbit creatures. Darkness, a village cut off and under siege? No, we're not going to have time to go to an apple pressing while we're here, are we? Maybe not. Maybe they'll just keep it on hold until the end. But yeah, things are already really bad here. First of all, the the life is dying here, and the and already the local village is under attack. So yeah, we gotta get to work right away. But as we said, yes, this is Woodrow, the the the, the warden of Pallet Prime, as Genie had obviously said. Let's go give him one last talk before we get to work. Oh, the horror. Tragedy in town, horror in the forest. Two halves of a bitter fruit, knee a fiendish root. Huh? Huh. Okay, so it's just a brief reminder of what's going on around here. So yeah. So the first thing I do is, uh, what's this guy talking about? Curses minions busted our bridge and now I can't bring my wares to market! Please, I have zero other skills! Uh, <laughs> I feel that when, when my, when, like, my job has gone into lows at the times and I feel like, no, please, I have no other skills, you gotta help us. Yeah, so the first thing we gotta do is sneak into the village and help them. And again, like you said, Woodrow's house has a secret passage underneath. And this rabbit here seems to best be gawking at this guy over here. Uh, if I could just see, hold on. Woodrow's p place over the ridge and straight. If you can get past that evil creature, me? I'll write it out here. Okay then. Yeah, so let's go fight our first new enemy of the game. Excited to get back into this. It's been a while since I've actually recorded. A bridge to fear. Defeat. The Medicians. Hmm, I, I wonder what that means. Oh, and this is the spark of absolute interest. Look out for these Medicians. They can heal their allies and put up team barriers to protect them. They even have a shock super effect that spreads from its original target to other heroes nearby. What's your motivation, you ask? Me! If you win, I get to ride your coattails out of here! For some reason, I thought that said cocktails for some reason. <laughs> like, okay. But yeah, Medicians. They are the heal- and they're the classic healer group of the team- of the enemy team. And as such, they are target number one. You want to take them out right away. Because not only can they, can they heal their allies, they can shield them from damage, like they said. Uh, they also- I know I said to boost your shock spark, because yes, there are some enemies here that will be res will be weak to sh shock. Uh, these guys, however, are not. They are specifically resistant to shock. They are weak to ooze. So yeah, make sure Toxic Quake is on hand at the t at the moment. Anyways, let's get Rabbit Rosnee to take this guy down. And we'll get Mario and Luigi on the going yeah, on- oh my gosh, on the move. You can use these jump platforms to jump across each floating island without having need. I like that these came back from the Mario 3D world. These are honestly, these were pretty fun uh, abilities that they had. Oh god, a bit fun things they had in the area. Oh my gosh. Why can't I speak today? Come on. 
Then again, have I ever been able to speak clearly at any time? I don't think so. But the point is, we're doing our best we can. I'm glad to be on a new planet. I love the aesthetic of this place. How it's autumn themed. It's you know, like the a constant references to pumpkin spice. Which, despite how I agree with Genie that it's definitely overrated. I mean, come on. I told you, I work in retail. I've seen what kind of things we pumpkin spice, and it's ridiculous. I'm gonna set up Steely Stare, and because I'm actually not trust that the Goombas are gonna not hit me, I'm gonna turn invisible with Ethering here. Alright. Now let's go cause mayhem for everybody. Yeah. They put up shields. And yeah, they do apply to themselves. Nice. Boom, boom. The Goomba's dead. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, I think. Yeah, you know, all the Goombas run around. They can, as you can tell, this is to show that they can make small enemies really dangerous because of their shields. And boom! We got the Flame Stooge here. Uh, but it wasn't enough to take him down in Mario's run. <laughs> One of my favorite... No, him running a, Mario running around on fire reminds me a lot of the times in Mario Galaxy when I would accidentally fall into the fire. And it was just the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> he just... Ow! <laughs> it's really fun. It cracked me up every single time. And I loved it. But, yeah, not, not that the... But there, was, you know, there was a weird tangent, but it was always something funny to me. I mean, it's clear I'm not really paying attention to what's going on. Come on, Bob, focus. Oh! And off with the cliff you go. Alright, I'm gonna snipe this guy over here. I can't, he is out of range. But not right here. You know what? Let's apply Splash. Yeah, I didn't set up my sparks for this setup. Oh, he's got a shield. So it would be pointless to hit him anyways. Dang it. Okay, well, that's where Rabbit Rosalina can come in. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually nice, again, with her... In, with Ennui Dash, is what it was called. Yeah, I'm glad to learn that I actually... I'm glad to have learned what that actually meant. And... Hold on. And team jump over. What? Yeah, Rabbit Rosalina can be helpful against these guys, because while the guy, they have shields, her attack hits many, many times, and so can break through said shield. Luigi is definitely not the... He's not the best guy to put out here, cl clearly. I'm going to see if I can hit that flame stooge over there. Oh, uh, wait, where, where, actually, where is the last Medician? Ah, he's over there. Okay. Mm. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of what I can do here. Because if I could just... If I could... I can't do it, okay. Oh uh, yeah, let's just see if I can... I can't take out anyone, just for... Okay, forget it, we're wasting time, just shoot that guy. Okay. Well, I know Mario's gonna die. Yeah, they can heal allies. Okay, I keep saying that, but come on. Bobby, quit repeating the same thing over. They've heard it the first two times. But as I was saying, why is there a giant cruise ship in the background? <laughs> what? I've never noticed that. Why is there a cruise ship in the background? <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Mm, okay. Uh, boot. What's really nice is that I'm gonna boost up my wind spark here. I'm gonna push you out of bounds. The goal of this mission was just to take out the, uh, take out the medicians. And now, we get the, one of my favorite sparks in the game, and not only that, it goes with one of my favorite characters. Oh, can, are you starting to put two and two together? Because I sure as heck am, and it takes me forever, but it took you much faster, I can tell! So, our new spark pal. Uh, wrong button, my gosh. Our new spark pal is Glitter. 
His ability is gather round. Enemies within range are pulled toward the hero's position. And he can increase weapon based attack by 10 by 10%. Right away, I'm going to max him out because again, he is best on one particular character, Rabid Mario. Yep. With Rabid Mario's incredible ability to hit people really hard at close range, it makes sense that we would pull everybody t together and then shock them tirelessly by with him. So yeah, I'm going to apply him directly onto Rabid Mario, and I'm going to put Rabid Mario in the team real quick, and I shouldn't have uh, clicked out of the system. Come on. So we got past the magicians. We, this is Woodrow's house here. I like how tall it is. Very nice house, actually. Oh, there's the giant cruise ship in the background. I'm wondering if that's uh, how the rabbits got to this planet. That, um, that's probably what it is. Like, like the next time, <laughs> one of them's trying to climb on the chain. Buddy, buddy, you're gonna fall into the abyss and die. Is that worth cl climbing <laughs> from there, or doing whatever like exercise routine you got? I don't know what. Oh, I mean, these rabbits survive just about everything. I've... And they can survive explosions being shot straight away. And did we have, like, the weird goo effect applied to us? Did you see that? Well, no, but here is Woodrow's house. He's got a rubber duck in his toilet. He's got a picture of himself there. This is where he keeps his umbrellas <laughs> hanging from the ceiling. And I did not mean to push that. He weirdly has the picture of a crazed rabbit over where he writes his poetry book. And it looks like back here, this tiny bookshelf of his is a secret entrance down. This is gonna be our way into the village before the bridge can be repaired. Yeesh. What is this, a giant sewer system? Hmm. Looks like I lit upon you just in time, then! Oh, it's Twinkle! Back in Beacon Beach! How you doing, little guy? <laughs> Mario is just like, Oh! Yeah. Why are you here? You did, but with all the Spark Hunters talk, I thought I'd be better off with you. So I followed you here. But I I'm not here to be a burden. In fact, if you need some help, maybe I can lighten your load? Well, I mean, he did say light the way, or shed some light on the situation. Let's see what Twinkle can do. I can see the light. Is it like the fog's lifted? Is it like the sky is new? Yeah, so, the scan ability. Twinkle has given us the people's power to scan and reveal things that are normally invisible to the heroes. If we press ZL, he makes a wavelength of light, and we can see here that there is a hidden bridge that the light has revealed. This is going to be very helpful to us, and it's obvious that in other areas, there have been invisible things that we haven't been able to see, and we'll go back there at another time. But for now, we're going to keep traveling around on here, so we got to pay attention to things that might be invisible. For example, it was blocking this box of leaves. Uh, yeah. I don't know why they had a box of leaves down here. I'm, I like to dictate the, lo sorry, the logic of this stuff. A blight at the end of the tunnel on the quest of a fallen king. In this, again, Palette Plime is honestly one of my favorite places in this game. I love, again, I just love the environment. It's very comfortable. It's very soothing despite the, the situation is it now. And actually, now's not the time to talk about Doodle Plant. We have no another new enemy to fight. Depleters. These guys. Aggressive opponent that gets in close and restores some of its health at the expense of the opponents with each successful assault. Its technique allows it to immediately respond and attack with a counterattack. So yeah, these guys have essentially Rabid Mario's counterattack on them. And they have vampires so that they can compensate... For losing health by being exposing themselves by hurting oh gosh by healing themselves so we gotta watch out for that 
Uh, was there, actually, were there any other guys here that we had to worry about? Oh, we have flame stooges. Okay, so let's get uh, water. No, let's get splash on Mario. And we'll just keep Rabbit Rosalina as she is. Yeah, these guys, again, they look like the weak wizard type, but they're actually pretty beefy. They've got a good amount of health. Yeah, 1700 health. You gotta watch out for them. That's why I've equipped uh, Rabbit Mario with the shock ability, because if we use his new spark power, all enemies within range are gonna come flying, flocking over to him. And it doesn't matter how long of a path they have to take. Or if the path is still within range. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this. Let's do it. Sock him! <laughs> that was awesome. And now Rabbit Mario can go quickly hide. That's Rabbit Rosalina. We're gonna dash into them to shut them down. Or shut one of them down. It's fine. Shutting one of them down at least is good. Uh, you know, actually, I'm gonna. I want to use one of Mario's abilities here. We've yet to see this, so I might as well show it off. His stomp ability. So yeah, he can. Uh, <laughs> he can jump on an enemy and do lots of damage to him. But however, he doesn't go back to gliding yet. I believe there's an upgrade that allows him so that he can up. Uh, upgrade how many stomps he can do in succession so that he can bounce off of Beepo. So, let's see, can we, do you think we can take out this guy? I think we can. Let's try it. Okay, he's down. And we don't, again, we don't have to worry about the other guy, so. Let's set up Mario's reaction shot. And let's pass the turn. Right, no need for that then. But let's hop across. Okay, Rabbit Mario stuck out in the open, but that's okay because we can power him up with shock and just beat this guy up. Yeah, these are the guys that are weak to shock. You want? This is why I wanted you to upgrade your shock spark, despite the first new enemy being resistant to shock. I mean, it's also good. I hope you have also made sure that Toxic Wake has been upgraded as well. Because he he is just as important because he's still the only source of the ooze element that we have seen. So we gotta... Yeah, so we gotta be careful. Again, these guys will counterattack if you're not careful. And let's make sure that we're doing our best here. You can actually choose to land early if you want. I'm not going to stomp that guy because I want him to stay locked down. Yeah, this was probably not a good setup, actually. Mm. Yeah, uh, we have no way of damaging that. Hmm. Actually, let me see. Can Rabbit Rosalina's in... in... Nope. Her Ennui ability can't get over there, so... Okay, let me power him up. And destroy the portal. There we go! Now we have no new enemies to worry about. And I'm gonna put on Reflect, because I have a feeling that guy down there is gonna try and hit us. So let's put on Reflect. Boom, yeah. Got lifesteal. But again, we were able to reflect some of the damage back so that that heal was sort of evened out. I don't... I don't believe that counters... I believe that counters, it for the most part, uh, don't you know, ignore any form of cover, just like Rabbit Mario's does. So we gotta watch out 
with him. So just make sure not to hit him, or at least if you're gonna like hit him, try to lock him down with Rabbit Rosalina's Ennui ability first, because that should help you out. Gonna use this. Just oh, I forgot they resist splash. Okay, so instead we don't have any mushrooms to heal. So let's get Rabbit Mario up here and suck him in the face. The whole squad's up here. I believe down there is the. Oh no, there's two depleters left. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna. And pass the turn up. Your yeah, flames tooth would have been nice to have. Would have been nice if to have my splash spark ready, if I f would pay attention, and remember what elemental weaknesses they have. Like, because I told everyone what elemental weaknesses they had, and I don't know why I didn't like focus in that case. I'm gonna see if glitter will attract these guys over. Yeah, they're gonna take the huge long path all the way to him. It may not always work though because of the time limits. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll just take out this guy right here, and we'll take out the portal, because again, I hate it when they summon more guys to help, because it's just annoying. I mean, I can deal with them if they spawn in. That's not the problem. I just... I would still, if since there's a chance to stop them from coming in, I'm gonna take it. Right. Setting up my reaction shot. Uh, Nope, no one else can move except Rabbit Mario, of course. Uh, but he's more likely to be safe down here. And boom! Oh boy. Nope, not a chance. If there's the counter. doesn't stand a chance because Rabbit Mario is going to flip an end you. You're on it list! Now get him! Yeah! Pepperoni! <laughs> Let's say it, yeah. So as, as point made, Glitter Spark makes Rabbit Mario absolutely unstoppable. And again, when the, end, the movement from them being attracted does trigger reaction shots as well. Right, well, with that fight over, and with our new magical ability, let's make our way into Palletville. And so we got more puzzles to solve. If I could just get over here. Right, there's a spinning thing here. For money. Yeah, and it also reveals invisible objects that may not be initially shown. With that, we reveal that there was an invisible block, and it looks like there's something invisible up there. And it's weirdly positioned in front of the triangle door, or triangle barricade. Okay, okay. What? What? Okay, that was weird. Like, you saw that, right? It wasn't showing itself, despite the fact that it was clearly within range. But it doesn't matter. We, we got it. That was strange. Sorry. It's been really cold outside, so sorry about that really gross moment there. But now we're going to make it into Pallet Bill. We're going to see how we can help the town. Already we got a guy running around this. Hey, buddy, calm down for a second. Please save us! That tentacle puts all the future apple pressings in Palinville at grave risk! Oh no! That's something specifically Beepo had talked about. And we... Come on, we can't have Beepo miss his favorite thing on the planet. 
Mm. Even though most of the time I've made fun of them, it doesn't matter. Holy crap, there was a lot in there. That round fella? That round fella, friend of yours? Oh, mama. We could have you the same about that stone face, but only attract of a woman. Spark Hunter. Spark Hunter. Name's Bedrock, and she's no friend of mine. Bowser's no friend of ours either. Does a lot of kidnapping of Princess Peach. Still, we can't leave him to the darkness, can we? No. Perhaps he could, if he was fighting Bedrock, there's a chance he could be able to, but yeah, Bowser is weirdly here. And yet another Spark Hunter as well. Already, we are get the, one of the first things we get in here is a boss fight. So let's get into it. Blast into the Bedrock. Let's go help Bowser. Weird enough as it's to say. For all his strength. Even the mighty Bowser is helpless in the darkness dimension without a spark-powered weapon. We do have a weapon we can spare. It was designed for rabid Mario, but proved too heavy for him to wield effectively. No, 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 no. Not true! It chipped my skin! <laughs> sure, rabid Mario. Come on. Well, you know what? If it was designed for rabid Mario, it'll de it's definitely designed well for the mighty Bowser. That thing is so cool. He just blew up an island with it. Let's do it. Blasting through Bedrock, our first boss fight of Palette Prime. And the second Spark Hunter of Curse's Arsenal. There is a lot to do in this fight that Beeple's probably going to explain. Beepo is too strong for our attacks to cause much damage. Try luring her onto the explosive traps first. Yeah, right away, the bo Bedrock is, again, too strong to fight. So we have to lure into the traps. Let me go set up my sparks real quick, and we're going to set up Bowser's sparks as well. See you then. Okay, here we are. So the first thing I actually wanted to take was Bowser was on our team. His abilities are is his main ability overseer bowser shines when launching area attacks and spawning minions to do his bidding as his skill tree had stated yes he has a bowzooka which is a long-ranged weapon that does a blast radius based on the target it hits i have already maxed out everything he can get with it he's real this weapon is also really good at destroying cover just like rabid rosalina's is but mainly just like the ouija it has a lot of long-ranged and which we're going to be useful for. Another thing, he actually can spawn rabid mecha koopas to go after enemies and do lots of damage. I have upgraded them so that they do more damage and that he has up to five of them, and that they're equipped with fire abilities so that they burn enemies when they attack. These, ra these fire rabid mecha koopas are really strange. He also has another ability, a lot like Mario's, except it's a little different. He has the... De Sorry, the slam ability, or damage landing, where when he drops after gliding from Beepo, he'll do a lot of damage. So yeah, this is something unique to Bowser. It's a little different than Mario's, because, again, it hits many enemies and not just one. So yeah, he had all of his upgrades ready, so now I've got it set up. I've got hit all the sparks ready. Let's get into this fight. Bedrock is, as the name implies, is one tough cookie. 
And as planned, we also gotta lure her into these traps to make sure, and Bowser is gonna be one of those keys to getting her in there. With his lo- Because, just like the Wild Claws back in Beacon Beach, if we'd shoot directly at her... If we could get in range, however... Like this... So if we shoot her... She'll come charging at us. She does a slam attack right away. So we gotta watch out for that attack, and that's gonna be one of the keys of getting her into these explosive traps. We can also use uh, Rabid Mario's glitter ability, or glitter spark, in order to lure her into the trap as well. So that's how Rabid Mario is gonna be helpful. I brought Edge in because of her mobility, and the fact that, again, this is one of the spark hunters which Bedrock had recognized. Which, so it makes sense that Edge would be on the fight ag against her. Now, as for what... So I'm gonna leave Rabbit Mario in here for now. As you can see that... Yeah, our attacks do very little damage. But by exploding the area, she, we did a lot of damage to her straight up. And we bounced Rabbit Mario up here. I don't think Rabbit Mario actually took any damage from that. So that's good. There's lots of these jump pads everywhere, so a lot of mobility can be uh, placed with characters that aren't really particularly good at mobility, so there is that as, at least, as well. So, you don't have to worry about having characters with high mobility, even though I do have one with specifically high mobility. And that, and yeah, that's about it. Just lure her into these traps, try to make sure to keep enemies or her allies at bay. And you should be golden. Let me see, can I hit her from here? Yes, I can! Alright, that'll get her running over here. After she does a slam, of course. Right, uh, and who else has their turn? Oh. Um, I'm going to spawn Bowser's Mecha Koopas. They just look at these things. <laughs> that is so disturbing. That's creepier than regular Mecha Koopas. Also, uh... Yeah, also, also, Bedrock is immune to fl any element, so... You gotta watch out for that, too. And actually, I didn't actually get to read her description, so let's do that as well. Incredibly strong, viciously stomps opponents and then leaps out of reach. When hit, becomes enraged and will pursue her assailant, rushing headlong into whatever lay in her path. She specifically resists burn. So, yeah, you're gonna use the fact that she charges in fearlessly into whoever attacks her, and use that into the traps. So let's do that. For a second I thought it was aiming for the Koopa with how the camera angle was going. I was like, no! Alright. Oh, well, there's nothing we can do now. I'm gonna set up Stormblade to do at least a little bit of damage to Bedrock right away. Again, I don't believe that they... That your allies actually take a lot of damage being lured um, into the path like this. But, again, I, I'm gonna trust that we're not. But yeah, she actually is affected by ooze and those two Goombas in the background are good to go. She gets her, her turn first. Yep, we did damage. Oh, she landed and... And I saw that. I saw that... Oh boy. Yep, Rabbit Rosalina is now down, of course. Okay, so... I think that was mostly because of the damage she did straight away. So what I'm gonna do is try to get Edge some health back by... apparently not being able to dash into enemies. Okay, so I'm gonna get Edge healed up. Yeah. Dashing into them does not trigger their counter. It's specifically when you use your weapon. So there is that, at least. So, we're gonna bounce Edge over here on these bounce pads and keep her safe while she heals. If I could just jump on the pad, for Pete's sake. Uh, 
Grab and Mario, you're gonna follow in Edge's footsteps and try to meet her there. Once again, reflecting the idea that you like her a lot. Ooh! I, I thought I almost landed in into the pit of death because that does a lot of damage when you shot out of bounds, which I hate. Also, one other thing. You don't actually have to worry about uh, jumping on these, wasting your turn to team jump. It only happens when you jump specifically on one of your allies. So there is that at least. So, so don't so you can jump on these things as m much as you want. So as for Bowser, I'm gonna. I think I don't think he can hit her from here. Let's see. Nope, she's just barely out of range. We can destroy this cover at least. That they were. Oh. Oh! Okay, so the counter is... Wait, how much... Do I not know anything about this game? I could have sworn that the counter was specifically blocked... Or, or wasn't blocked by any cover. That's crazy. Okay, so again, that changes a lot of things. Hey, Rabbit Mario still has his turn, but he can't do anything with it. Yeah, Bedrock will also destroy any cover that she comes into contact with, and down goes Edge, of course. And I... I have not been good in this fight, have I? No, nope, I know what I can do next. As soon as enemies stop spawning for five minutes. Oh, Goombas! Hey, that was a little nerve-wracking. I thought they were all gonna uh, hit him. Let's shoot her from over there and let's have her come over here. And it wasn't enough to bring her over here. Okay, so let's get Bowser some movement and get him out of here. And we'll maneuver him into the next area. There we go. What's very nice is that at the very least, she can, he can dodge out of the way. Like that. I need to dash into the Goombas to get him out of here. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna turn him invisible, because with how already two of my guys have died. All right, Bowser should be protected here. Shouldn't worry too much about the Stooges doing... All right, she should still be within range of the trap. Ow. Is he really gonna go down here? Come on! Really? You can't be serious. Is she at least going to jump? Nope. Okay then. Well, this this uh, was clearly a horrific setup. What happened? I mean, I know what happened, but... My lord. Okay, now we're in range. No, oh, let's just... Attack it straight up. He's, she's gonna pathetically jump and... Boom. 
now she's back in the middle again. I can still win this. I don't think you really actually have to do any damage specifically to her. Oh, that was close. Great. Now I have to worry about a 50-50 chance of being hit by a cover. So, mm. No, yeah, I'm going to reset the his timer with, the, with his abilities. He's pretty beefy of a character, so I feel like he'll be fine. Ow. Ow. Okay. I can do this. I can absolutely do this. Because now, with glitter, we can lure all of them right here. <laughs> okay, sorry, that that cracked me up a little. Just <laughs> seeing them all run around the cover and she just bashes through it was hilarious. But what's even more hilarious is that despite how you killed nearly every single one of them, I beat you with Rabbit Mario. Once again, showing Rabbit Mario is the freaking king. And that's it. Bedrock is down. Victory is ours. And we got ourselves a darkness energy crystal. And with Bowser as the as the animation character to to boot. We did great. Everyone did great. Despite everybody dying except Rabbit Mario, everyone did great. And we got a bile for bedrock too. Oh, well, that was cute seeing Rabbit and Mario and Luigi like do a like a bro handshake. Oh, that's no. Oh, what is that? Oh boy. That doesn't look good. Even Bowser's pissed about it. Well, we got Bowser on our team now. And he just wiped out the tentacle with one swipe. Well, Wimps, uh, thank you would be nice. I did save your life just now. Roar! Looking for Cursa! Same as you! It corrupted my army of weak-minded imbeciles, and I want them back! Beepo, by allowing Bowser to join us, our mission success rate increases by 11.34756%. That's up from... The estimated probability given to pigs sprouting wings and flying. <laughs> that's, that's the probability we had? Well, we better see pigs flying, then. Whoa! That sounds about right! No wonder you're trying to trick me into leading your little wuss brigade! Absolutely not! I don't care what the odds are! Right, Mario? Mama Nabi, we must have... Don't worry! I promise not to pound you in the bits until after I pummel Cursa and rule the galaxy again! Ah, uh, another nod back to Mario Galaxy, how he did take over the galaxy. <laughs> but yeah, Bowser, as always, is still very well written as a character. <laughs> Come on, you can't not love Bowser. He's awesome. And in this game, he's a pretty awesome character as well. But we did it. We defeated another one of Curse's Spark Hunters already. Bedrock. And now... Now the village is saved from the darkness tentacle. Next up, and the next time on Marks of Hope, we travel to the spellbound woods and see what we can do to help the forest. With that being said, I'll see you guys then.
Another spark hunter crossed our path, Bedrock. Cursa has merged rabid DNA with an inanimate object, in this case, a coarse granite rock, massive, hard, and tough. Bedrock is impossibly strong, an unstoppable force let loose upon the sparks. Our sole advantages are that she is as dense as the granite she sprang from, as well as our alliance with Bowser, whom Bedrock respects as her equal in combat. 